is Sunday morning. We've already had a pretty busy morning. Well, Ben realized she forgot her hairbrush. So, we're gonna have to stop at like Walgreens or CVS or someplace. Oh, I think Tegan said that it's time to leave the hotel. We've had a busy morning so far. Yes, we've we had, have breakfast. had breakfast. And we went swimming at the pool. I recorded a little snippet. Ben, how wait, about you wait, play? Wait, wait. We recorded it. <laughs> we, um, we went swimming at the pool, like Ben said, mm -hmm. and I recorded a little snippet on the phone because I got in the pool too, which surprised Ben. That doesn't happen too often, but it was so nice in the pool this and morning. And he was having so much fun. We were, we were playing, playing sharks. sharks and baby sharks. <laughs> Tegan, you remember playing sharks and baby sharks? Yeah, shark. <laughs> okay, so Ben will put in that like 30 seconds of footage right here. Oh boy, we have the pool to ourselves this morning. Is it warm? Yeah, it's nice. It's warm in this room. Yeah. Here we are at the Granite State Comic Con. Look at all this stuff. These are so cute. Aren't these adorable? is because they're super cute. <laughs> I know who that is. Pikachu. Yeah. So much to look at. I don't know where to begin. We just got in. So much. Oh, Ben. That'd be the rest of our budget for today, though. That'd be the rest of our budget, though. I know, but I I know. We got three feet in the door and then we'd have no money left. Those are more in our budget. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to look at here. This feels a lot bigger than the Bangor one. Yeah, yeah, space-wise, definitely a lot I don't know if you can see him, but Yoshi's here today. <laughs> Tegan sees him. doing a sweep before we figure out where we want to stop first. So I'm, sure he, I'm sure he's like overwhelmed. Like there's so yes. much to look at. I think so. Overwhelmed in a good way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see his head little his little head swiveling all over the place. <laughs> oh I see a lot of ponies over here. Let's check that out. But you wanna see Pikachu? You see him? sorts of ponies. this amazing curler bead art. It's Zelda, Doctor Who. $150 can bring home a Sailor Moon. I think that's probably life size, right? There's Mushu and Ariel, Snow White. Wow. You want to say hi to Yoshi? He's having his picture taken. Yeah. <laughs> say bye. <laughs> so much to look at here. It's crazy. We're going to have to go through another couple times. Try it out. Tegan wants to try out one of these chairs. Ah, uh, how's that? <laughs> Leave it there. Here's an overview. This is where all the celebrities have their signings. Not too many are out yet. But here's an overview of the vendor's floor. So much stuff. The 
this giant mural, like an aerial view. It's so cool. Ben thinks that right there, mountain there, looks like a goat. It kind of does, I can totally see it. Whoosh. <laughs> Taking a break from the hustle and bustle of the con, see what we can find over here. Yeah, I to Doesn't look like there's gonna be too much over here, but we'll see what's over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are adorable. Those are so awesome. There's just a whole bunch of them here. They're so cute. Check out this spoonful of cats. Those are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. Oh, look at that, it's so fun, Loki. That's so cute. So we're adding to our autograph wall. We just met Disney legend Linda Larkin, the voice of Princess Jasmine, look at that sign. Personal life to Tegan. Tegan was a little charmer as usual. Flirting with Linda, and I assume that was her mother. Yes, that was her mom, yep. So we end, and she had her picture taken with her, and then we'll go up right now. Admission, the snacks, and the autograph, I got five dollars left in cash. <laughs> so I think we'll just probably do another couple sweeps around and uh, see what we can find. Uh, haven't seen any stormtroopers around here. No, I thought we could see some. I love these figures. These are from that mini figure world set. I might see how much these are. I love that Pinocchio one. This was a super fun con. <laughs> Heading out, Keegan's still pretty tired from last night. Yeah. I bought a couple prints. I couldn't resist. I'll show you them in the car and you'll see why. I had to go back to the ATM and take out another 20 bucks. They're so cool. I, I could not resist. And by the way, update, they wanted uh, $10 a piece for those Disney Magical World figures, which I thought was a little pricey, so I passed those up. So we're back out to the car. It is another warm day. This is crazy for like middle, late September. It is really hot for us. Feels like we're on our Florida vacation. I know. So we are back in the car. Both these prints are by the same artist. This one is of the Iron Giant. Which is awesome. And the other one is of Coraline. Check out how oh, awesome. This is the one that caught, yeah, this is the one that caught my eye. I really like that Coraline po poster. That's he awesome. was selling prints two for 20. I couldn't decide if the second one should be Iron Giant or Hocus Pocus. And I, I could see why that would be so hard. I don't know if I would be able to pick because I love Hocus Pocus. I ended up leaning towards Iron Giant just because you know, it went along with Coraline. Well, in yeah. in, uh, <laughs> in our universe, in, in our way of thinking, because there are two of Tegan's movies that he's watched over and over. And of course, Ben just slipped in the Linda Larkin Princess Jasmine autograph. Yeah. <laughs> We're adding to our wall of autographs. We're getting good at this whole autographs at the Comic Con thing. We're getting better. We're getting better. And Linda was so nice, and she even uh, let us take a picture, like we said. A shout out to my friend Preston. <laughs> Do we have any viewers named Preston? I actually like that name. I do too. I'm sharing a Coke with Preston. Don't tell anyone I'm drinking a caffeinated Coke. Yeah. They don't sell caffeine free at these conventions. So we're heading out. Tegan is already asleep, exhausted from yesterday, I'm sure. I was looking at the um, the website because I was like, gee, I thought they were going to have like stuff for the kids there. And we didn't see the stormtroopers from the Star Wars Legion and the Massachusetts Ghostbusters were going to do like a slime demonstration. Turns out we only saw half of the Comic Con. <laughs> we were at the at the south half, which had the artist alley and the uh, celebrities and the vendors floor. But apparently there was a north half that we bypassed totally somehow, and that's where everything I just said was the kids stuff that Tegan would have just loved. But he, we could tell he was getting pretty tired. Yeah, so we couldn't do any more anyway because he's exhausted. Maybe next year we'll we'll know to look at that half first. <laughs> I feel bad he wanted to see stormtroopers. Yeah. But the cosplayers are super nice to him, especially the one dressed up as the Wolfman. You thought he would have been scared to death. No. But just like just like Disney characters from a distance, he's like, oh, look over there, look, it's it's so-and-so. And then when they get up close, he's like, 
but he, he did really good. He's getting really good at giving like high, high fives five. and stuff. And when someone whips out a camera, he'll go, tease. <laughs> Even if it's a scary wolf man. Yep. But he go, Mommy, the wolf's back. Yep. He wasn't scared. <laughs> no, not at all. He loved it. So funny. Ah, bummer. We missed all the, the Star Wars stuff and the Ghostbusters stuff. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, well. It was still a fun time, though. It, it was fun, and we'll know for next time. But you know, he's, I mean, he's, he was asleep before we left the parking garage. So yeah. he was just way too tired to do anything else anyway. <laughs> Maybe next year. Because he was going strong all day yesterday, mm -hmm. playing at the playground with Emma, playing at the playground at the mall when we were visiting with Lastic and Micro Guardian. Mm -hmm. He was going till almost 9 o'clock at night. And even when he got back to the hotel, they had Disney Junior in the hotel, so we watched the Mickey, we read bedtime stories. Mm -hmm. And then we went swimming this morning. It's been a busy, jam-packed couple of days. Yep. So we're heading home now. It's only a little after lunchtime, 12.30 in the afternoon. We have to stop for gas, and we'll probably stop for something to eat on the way home. I don't know if maybe we'll stop for picture frames. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the cars coming out of Maine. <laughs> Like over here, just traffic is flowing like normal, and there's like no accidents or anything. But look at all that traffic. Weekend's over, everybody's going back home. Yep. Back to their city life, leaving the country. <laughs> or the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it was a beautiful weekend for the beach and stuff. It was, definitely. It was such a nice weekend. Very warm, uncharacteristically warm for our area. I wonder if some of that tropical heat got blown up here from the hurricane. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. We haven't really seen any residual rain from Hurricane Irma, but it's been very hot and buggy. Stopped off in Portsmouth for a little bit of lunch. Woke Tegan up from the nap. Glad we did. We had a nice uh, lunch. <laughs> nice long lunch. <laughs> it's just McDonald's, but nothing fancy. <laughs> I'm just kicking myself for missing out on all the kids stuff in the armory part of the Granite State Comic Con because I'm like looking at the Twitter feed it's like oh there's the New England Legion 501st it's like and they have like a group shot of all the stormtroopers and somebody was dressed as an Ewok like a full bodysuit Ewok you look like a legit Ewok <laughs> And there was the Ghostbusters there, the Massachusetts Ghostbusters there making slime, and they had a big inflatable uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Sorry. We, we won't what? tell Tegan what we missed out on, okay? It's between you and me, okay? <laughs> Actually, I'm probably more bummed than anyone else. <laughs>